Now one I want to talk about, which is the most important, as Dr. Jamal said, the last. And again, I, this is not, a, it's not something public, but I think you should hear it. I think it's important. It will give us some lessons about this topic of, uh, of uh, healing and reconciliation. How many of you know that I once was a minister in the Nation of Islam? Okay. How many of you know that I was once an imam under the leadership of Imam Waratuddin Muhammad? Most people don't know. By the time most of you knew me, I was an independent imam over Masjid Taqwa. That's all you know about. But you don't know about Imam Siraj as an imam in the world community of Islam in the West under the leadership of Imam Warathadi Muhammad. And, and what I'm going to say, I believe it. I believe that anything of good that I do, that Imam Warathadi Muhammad will get credit from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for any good that I do, and I'm going to tell you why. In 19, uh, let, me, let me back up first. 1975, I was a minister in the nation of Islam, and I'll never forget the day that Elijah Muhammad died. And you have to remember the theology of the nation of Islam. Imam Qasim was also a minister in the nation of Islam. We had erroneously believed at that time that Elijah Muhammad was the messenger of Allah. It's what we believed. We believed that there was a man named Far Muhammad. We believed that he was God. And we prayed, yes, we prayed, but we never made salat. We didn't make sajda and ruku. We didn't recite the Quran. We didn't face the Qibla. We stood up in the east and we raised our hand and that was our prayer. We didn't make pilgrimage to Mecca. So in 1975, when Elijah Muhammad died, his son, Imam Waratadi Muhammad, took over the movement. And he slowly began to unravel the teachings of his father. And he told us within the first year that Father Muhammad is not God. That Allah is the creator of the heavens and the earth, and when you pray, you pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He said that my father, Elijah Muhammad, is not a messenger of Allah. Prophet Muhammad is the last messenger of Allah, and there's no prophet after him. And then he brought uh, imams and scholars in our community, and he instructed them to teach us how to pray. We began to face the Qibla like the rest of the Muslims. We learned how to pray. Within the first year, Imam Waratadi Muhammad took a whole uh, a large number of his followers to Mecca to make pilgrimage. In the nation of Islam, we used to fast not during the month of Ramadan, but we fasted in the month of December. It was Imam Waratadi Muhammad said, no, we fast Shahr Ramadan in the month of Ramadan. So one of the greatest mass conversions ever took place under the leadership of Imam Waratudi Muhammad, and I was one of them that was blessed to turn my heart around and then begun, begin to practice Islam. And I believe any good that I do that Imam Waratudi Muhammad would get some of the credit.